Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum student. This is Masood here and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn English with Masood. Student, today we are going to learn about monotransitive, complex transitive, ditransitive and reflexive transitive verbs in English. These concepts are very important for the student of MDCAT and nouns. Transitive and intransitive verbs in English. They coated their house yellow. Now, let's get started. Monotransitive, complex transitive. A monotransitive verb is a verb that takes two argument. A subject and a single direct object. For example, we bought a new house. Here we have a subject. This is your subject. And this is your direct object. And if we talk about two argument about the verb, this is the verb. And this one is your subject. And the direct object is a new house. This is your object. And this is your verb, and that verb is called your monotransitive verb. The next example, she needs a new shirt. Here we have she, is your subject, needs is your monotransitive verb, and new shirt is your object. They love their kids. Their kids is your direct object and they is your subject. We cross the bridge. The bridge is your direct object and we is their subject. And the main verb is monotransitive verb that is crossed. So this is your monotransitive verb. The next one is intransitive verb. Needs no object, a short sentence with an action verb without a direct object and not requiring a direct object. For example, we lay in the bed the whole day. Here we have lay, that is simple past. The first form is lie, lay and lay. In the bed, here we have, yes, this is an adverb of place. She slept the whole night. Slept is again, this is your intransitive verb without an object. The whole night is not the object. They run fast. Run is your intransitive verb and there is no object. She agreed with me. Here we have agreed and agreed is your intransitive verb. So lay, slept, run and agreed are your intransitive verb. Transitive verb needs an object, a short sentence with an action verb with a direct object and it requires a direct object is called transitive verb. For examples, here we have late. This is your, yes, lay, laid, laid. And this is your simple past, her arms on my shoulder. Her arms, yes, this is the object of the verb. Yes, and it requires. He punished, punished is your transitive verb and the children is your object. So this is again transitive verb. They took the test. Took is your transitive verb and the test is your object. She watched the whole movie. Watch is your transitive verb and the whole movie is your direct object over here. So it requires direct object. The next one is a ditransitive verb. A ditransitive verb is a verb that takes two objects. 
one is a direct object and other is an indirect object for example she gave me a gift here we have me this is your indirect object and gift is your direct object he lent her some money here we have her this is your indirect object and some money is your direct one they teach us english this can be written as they teach english to us so us is your again indirect and english is your direct object i gave them their books or we can write i gave their books to them so here we have them this is your indirect object and uh, their books is your yes this is your direct object so this is your ditransitive verb the next one is a complex transitive verb that is very important it is a verb that requires both a direct object and an indirect object for examples we painted our house blue here we have painted our house blue painted is your complex transitive verb and our house is your yes this is your direct object and this is the complement of this direct object blue and that is noun our house is a direct object and blue is the object complement of the verb this is a complex transitive verb some more examples of complex transitive verbs direct object and object complement here we have we coated our house here coated is your complex transitive verb our house is your direct object and blue is a noun and this is the complement of this object the next one they esteem edward a worthy poet now this a worthy poet is a noun phrase and this is again object complement of this direct object the next one arthur declare his wife greedy here we have his wife is your direct object and greedy is your adjective it is the object complement it can be an adjective phrase people called hubert entirely swindler entirely swindler is an adjective phrase this is the yes object complement of this object hubert is your direct object and called is your complex transitive verb complex transitive verb direct object and object complement a reflexive verb if a verb does not require an object it is not a transitive verb and if there is no transitive verb then there is no reflexive verb so reflexive verb yes must need an object this is object a reflexive transitive verb a reflexive transitive verb is an action verb and it is next to a reflexive pronoun these pronouns are connected to subjective pronouns it means they are actually action reflex back to the subject reflex back to the subject of the main verb 
For example, here we have he massage. He massage himself. Who? Yes, he massage himself. It reflects back to the subject. And similarly, the, she introduced herself. She, who? She introduced. This is subject and herself is the object and it reflects back to the main, yes, to the main verb. To the staff. She introduced herself to the staff. I had to introduce myself to the panel. Now let's have a short summary, a short review of these concepts. Most action verbs can be either transitive or intransitive verb. A transitive verb will always have a direct object and reflexive verb needs an object complement along with a direct object. It's the first requirement for a reflexive transitive and object complement comes after direct object. An indirect object can be changed by an addition of the preposition to or for. And no preposition is needed to make complex transitive verb. All person pronouns have a reflexive form. This is the short summary with respect to uh, your monotransitive, your reflexive transitive, and your complex transitive verb. Now let's have some quizzes. We need some more money. It's a monotransitive, ditransitive, complex transitive, or reflexive transitive. No, it's not ditransitive. It's not complex, it's not reflective, it's a monotransitive verb because here we have need and that is your object, some more money. This is your direct object. The next one is, she was declared the best. Here we have declared and the best is your adjective phrase and monotransitive, ditransitive, or complex transitive. Yes, this is your complex transitive because here we have, yes, she was declared. She is the object and uh, this object has a complement that is complement of the object. This is a passive sentence. So object come in the beginning of the sentence. Here we have she and declared is your complex transitive verb. That's it. This is. The next one is there. They laid the flowers on the graves. Here we have this one. Yes, laid is your verb. This is a verb and the object is their flowers. So this laid is your intransitive verb, ditransitive verb, transitive verb or a flexive transitive verb. Yes, this is your transitive verb, not a reflexive, not. Yes, this is your transitive verb. It's not an intransitive verb. The next one is there. Has he resigned himself from the post? It is monotransitive verb, ditransitive verb, reflexive verb, or complex transitive verb. Resign himself. The object reflects back to the subject. So this is your, yes, this is your reflexive verb. Right transitive and reflexive verb is the answer. The next one is there. The teacher has delivered us a lecture. It can be written as the teacher has delivered a lecture to us. It's a ditransitive verb, monotransitive verb, 
complex transitive verb or a flexive transitive verb. Yes, this is doit transitive verb because here we have two object that is this is a direct object a lecture and us is your indirect object. So die transitive is your answer. Yes, the next one is there. He painted his car red. Here we have painted and his car is the object. It's the diet object and red is a noun that is a complement of object. No transitive verb, die transitive verb, complex transitive verb or reflexive transitive verb. So it's a complex transitive verb because yes, there we have noun. This is the object. Yes. The next one is there. There lay the combs and Della was crying. So you have to decide whether it is transitive or intransitive verb, lay. Yes, lay is your intransitive verb because here the combs uh, serve as subject. This is intransitive verb. Lay is your intransitive verb. Monotransitive, complex transitive, ditransitive, reflexive transitive verb in English. And if you still have any question, you can put your question in the comment box. I'll upload another video for you. Transitive and intransitive verb. Thank you.